Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got the second anniversary playmat, we got Where Garurumon helping us out, and we got another two double pack set zero two. Uh, if you haven't seen it, take a look at our last video because that was uh, a good pull towards the end. Again, we're just gonna open it up through the bottom because that is the easiest. And again, be sure to check if you buy these in stores uh, that they aren't already open because like, it's just super easy to close that right up and then it just looks like a product on the shelf. So just make sure you check because I would hate for someone to buy one, come home, oh, this one, uh oh did I open them both at the same time, or did I? So I'd hate for someone to come home and check uh, and see that it had been tampered with. I'm going to have to check the, the recording, because I can't remember if I did them both at the same time. I'm guessing I did. I had to. For a second there, I'm like, oh, it's cut, and it's like, yeah, you cut it. That was most likely me. Probably cut them both at the same time. Makes sense. Because, yeah, this pack isn't open, so that's fine. All right. We got four more packs right here. And we got two more special cards that are going to be Gamma Mons, I imagine. So let's get right into it. And hopefully we can do better than 40 minutes, which was the last one. Uh, there was some things that threw me off, like how they had uh, foils in the center of the packs in these. Starting off, we got Betamon. Three play costs, zero distribution costs, 1,000 DP. On play, if played by an effect, one of your opponent's Digimon can't attack until the end of their turn. Uh, inherited effect, jamming. I like that, but most opponent's play effects say on play effects don't activate, so... This is really only working versus the older ones, I imagine. Jamming? Always love jamming. Ooh. Publimon. Six play costs, two digital costs, 5,000 DP. Security at the end of the battle. Play this card without paying the cost. End of attack. Place this Digimon on top of your security stack. No inherited effect. That is an interesting system. So, it's meant to attack, and then it goes to the security stack, then it comes back out from the security stack. It's kind of like looping over. It is very weak, so that's not great, but I do kind of like it. That's interesting. Lilymon X Antibody, which we have seen before. I'm 90% sure that we have. I'm just double-checking to make sure... I can't remember if we've seen Lilymon or... Yes, we have seen X-Antibody. I haven't seen this set, so I don't know if there's like two Lilymon, like a regular and an X-Antibody, but we have seen. Uh, Venom Infusion we've seen. Ultimate Slicer we've seen. Did I go with one or two? Yeah, that's just one. Marimon we haven't seen. We've seen Skull Marimon. Three play costs, two digital costs, 4,000 DP. Active effect main once per turn by paying two cost. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to the Digimon's DP. No inherited effect. Again, they're, they must be changing how they're saying it to two costs because we saw that on a different card. I personally don't like it. Crabmon, three play costs, zero Digivolution costs, 2,000 DP. On play, trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if your opponent has no Digimon with Digivolution cards, draw one card. No inherited effect. Nothing crazy. And Goromon. Three play costs, zero to Jibblish costs, 1,000 DP. Start of your main phase, if you have a tamer, gain one memory. Inherited effect, your turn. While this Digimon has Angoromon in its text, it gets plus 2,000 DP. Again, you're going to play it in these decks. Nothing else. Revelation of Light, we've seen. Shoutmon 2X2, we've seen. Plesiamon X Antibody. 
13 play costs, 5 devolution costs, 13,000 DP. Digivolve from Plesiamon with a cost of 2. When digivolving, when attacking, once per turn, return one of your opponent's Digimon with as many or fewer Digivolution cards as this Digimon to the hand. Opponent's turn. When an opponent's Digimon with as many or fewer Digivolution cards as this Digimon attacks, if Plesiomon or X antibodies in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, gain two memory. I like this one a lot. I mean, blue is made to reduce... Digivolution cards off your opponent, and this one allows you to throw them back to the hand and thus trashing everything else. I like it. It's pretty solid, I'd say. And we got Supreme Connection. Three play cost, main, reveal the top five cards of your deck. At, among them, add one card with the machine or cyborg trait to the hand and trash one such card. Return the rest to the top or of the deck. Then place this card in the battle area. Main delay. You may play one level 5 or higher Digimon card with the machine or cyborg trait from your hand with the play cost reduced by 3. Security effect. Security. Reveal the top 5 cards of your deck. Among them, add one card with the machine or cyborg trait to the hand and trash one such card. Return the rest to the top of the deck. Then place this card in the battle area. So this is basically the same as that, I guess. Um, it's alright, again, made for Machine Dramon, so you're not going to really play it outside that. I'd have to double check and see, like, would I actually use that? So I'm wondering what's going on with the, uh, LM cards, because, are those the special cards? If so, I think we've gotten close to, if not all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. If so, we've gotten all of them, if the LMs are the special cards. I don't know. Because some are, like, numbered 18, which makes me think they're not. Because that would suggest there's 18 of them in this set. Unless they put them out in a future set. But in that case, why not do 1 through 8? We got Cherrymon. 6 play costs, 3 devolution costs, 6,000 DP. On play, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add two level six or higher cards among them to the hand. Return the rest of them bottom of the deck. End of your turn. By deleting one of your Digimon, you may play one Digimon card with a Dark Master's trait from your hand to an empty space in your breeding area without paying the cost. Inherited effect, piercing. Again, I need to see these Dark Masters before I can tell whether these are great or not. Espeon, yo, this guy was, like, super hard to find in uh, the RB, or was it his... No, it was his evolution that was super hard to find. But now we got another Espeon. Three play costs, zero distribution costs, 1,000 DP. On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with blocker or one tamer among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Inherit effect. Opponent's turn, once per turn. When the attack target is switched, draw one card. Meh. Nothing too crazy. We got Kabuterimon, which we have seen before. Tapermon, 3 play cost, 0 Jivalution cost, 2,000 DP. Has the barrier ability, no inherited ability. Uh, this is bad to me. Like, trashing card to keep this rookie on the field? I don't like it. Palamon, X antibody we've seen. Togemon, X antibody we haven't. 5 play cost, 2 digivolution cost, 5,000 DP. Digivolve from Togemon for a cost of 0. When digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon can't unsuspend until the end of their turn. If Togemon or X antibodies in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, inherited effect. Your turn. Your turn. This Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. Nothing crazy here, but... I do like more uh, X antibodies. They're nice. Giga Dramon, we've seen. Sunomon, we haven't. Uh, your turn, once per turn. When one of your Digimon's effects adds cards to the hand, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. I think there's better starters, but that's nice. 
Mega Seedramon, 7 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs, 7,000 DP. On player when Digivolving, by placing one of your blue Digimon as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, return one of your opponent's Digimon whose level is less than or equal to the placed card's level to the bottom of the deck. Inherit Effect, when attacking, once per turn, by placing one of your other blue Digimon as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, unsuspend this Digimon. It's all right. I do like that inherited effect. Like giving your big boy more abilities is great, but you're also putting all your eggs in one basket. So there's some risk versus reward there. Warzu Monzemon. Seven play costs, 40 devolution costs, 7,000 DP. Digivolve from level four with Numon in its name for a cost of three. On player when digivolving by trashing one card with Numon in its name in your hand or the Sigimon's Digivolution cards. D-Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. On play, by placing one card with Numon in its name from your trash as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, until the end of your opponent's turn, none of their Digimon with a play cost of 5 or less can attack players. Inherit effect, your turn. While this Digimon has Monzemon or Numon in its name, it gains security attack plus 1. I like this one. This seems like a good side option for... Uh, the Shin Monzemon deck, or if you're just like a casual player, this is a good card to throw in there if you are missing pieces of the deck. This isn't one where I'd be like, ah, you could take it or leave it. Um, this one, I actually do really enjoy. We got Venomiotismon, 12 play cost, 4 digital cost, 12,000 DP. Blocker on play when digivolving on deletion, delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. Again, this is like side mega, like, abilities, nothing crazy. Eh. We got uh, Magnadramon. 11 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs, 11,000 DP. On play or when Digivolving by trashing the top or bottom card of your security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 9,000 DP until the end of the turn. All turns, once per turn, when a card is removed from your security stack, if you have three or fewer security cards, you may place one yellow card from your hand on top or bottom of your security stack. All right, this one I kind of like because of that second ability where it's like, if you have three or fewer, three is a number where I'm like, unless your opponent's deck is built to just get rid of all your security in one turn, they're not going to be able to eat through three at once. And the fact that it'll put you back up at four, I like it. That makes it a little better for the on player when digivolving effect to remove one. So I'm a little more lenient with this one. Third pack. And again, we are zooming right along now. Let's see what we got. Crabmon. Colamon. For play cost, two Digivolution costs, 5,000 DP. On play, trash the bottom two Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if your opponent has no Digimon with any Digivolution cards, gain one memory. No inherited effect. He's alright, nothing crazy. Tapermon. Togemon X Antibody. Foxfire. For play cost, main return one of your opponent's level four uh, Digimon to the hand. Or lower Digimon to the hand. If you have a Digimon with Gabumon or Gururumon the same, return one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level to the hand instead. That's interesting. Uh, security, activate this card's main effect. So it's like... It kind of gets worse and better at the same time. Like, if you don't have one of those out, then it's a level 4 or lower, so champion or lower. But then if you do have that, and they've got a level 3, you've got to send that one back. So you've kind of lost that ability to choose... Um, so that's a little weird, but I understand what they're doing. Uh, Ryudamon, three play costs, zero Digivolution costs, 1,000 DP. When attacking, if you have a Tamer, this Digimon may Digivolve into Gin Ryumon in your hand without paying the cost. Inherited effect, your turn. While this Digimon has the X antibody trait, it gets plus 1,000 DP. It's alright, nothing crazy. And again, like, number 15, so I have to imagine... These aren't the special cards. 
Meteor Wing, 4 play cost. Main, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 15,000 DP or less. For each of your opponent's security cards, remove 2,000 from the DP deletion effects maximum. Security, activate this card's main effect. Okay, I was thinking like, 4 play cost, 15,000? Ooh, that's crazy. But so, at the beginning of the game, it's only 5,000. As you are aggressive and you take out more, it ups... So this one's really only going to be useful when the opponent has like three or less, because then you're looking at like 9,000, 11,000. That's that's when it's really going to start being better. Uh, I think it would also go great in the Gallimon deck yet again, because I th think that would up it. I think it's just by deletion effects. I'm not entirely certain, but if it is, this would find a great home in there. Wings of Love, two play cost. Main, you may play one Red Tamer with a play cost of four or less from your hand without paying the cost. Then, if you have a Tamer with Sora in its name, return one Red Digimon card from your trash to your hand. Inherit Effect. You may play one Beelmon from your hand or trash without paying the cost. Then add this card to the hand. Again, it's going to be good for the Beelmon deck. Not too much else. Impact of Knowledge. Three play cost. Main. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if you have a Tamer with Izzy in its name, until the end of your opponent's turn, one of their Digimon gains Unleash and Trash the top card of your security stack. Security. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then add this card to the hand. I like this one a lot. Uh, it's kind of like a pseudo-piercing, where you're suspending one of their Digimon, uh, and then you attack into it. You've given it this undeletion effect, and they get rid of the top card, but it's not piercing. So if it is a high power Digimon, um, it doesn't activate. Or one of these, I don't think it activates either. Like, because it's being trashed by, like, an indirect effect. That I really like. We got Tesla Jellymon. I believe we've seen her before. I think she was one of the first ones we saw. No, we saw Thessus. Um, on. This is a 4 play cost, 2 Digivolution cost, 4,000 DP. When attacking by trashing one blue card in your hand, this Digimon can't be deleted by battle for the turn. Inherited effect, when attacking, if you have 7 or fewer cards in the hand, draw one card. I like this one because blue's big thing right now is to have a lot of cards in hand. Uh, and so trashing card in my hand, I'm not too concerned about. Plus, there was, like, a recent, like, blue-purple with the Gabumon, so this could be thrown into one of those decks and make sense there. Uh, and she's also got the Inherited Effect, where if you have seven or less, you draw cards when you're attacking. So there's a lot here which makes it work. The only problem that I see is that you would be drawing cards and maybe you would run out of cards in your deck. So that's the only downside to that. But otherwise, I like it. Rosemont X Antibody. 13 play cost, 4 Digivolution cost, 12,000 DP. Digivolve from a Rosemont with a cost of 1. When Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and one of their Tamers. They can't unsuspend until the end of their turn. Opponent's turn, once per turn. When an opponent's Digimon is played, you may suspend one of their Digimon. Opponent's turn, once per turn. When an opponent's Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area, if Rosemont or X Antibody is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, you may suspend one of their Digimon. That's really cool that you can slow them down like that. That I like. And we got Phoenixmon. 11 play cost, 3 Digivolution cost, 11,000 DP. On play or on deletion, if your opponent has 3 or fewer security cards, delete one of their Digimon with the lowest CP. If they have 4 or more, trash the top card of their security stack. When Digivolving, you may play one red Digimon card with 5,000 DP or less, and, or one Tamer card from your hand without paying the cost. This is one that I would... It's given some, like, almost boss vibes. I would definitely only put two in the deck, simply because uh, if they have four or more, like, that's, that's only going to be two chances, and that's the effect that I really want. Um, because deleting one of the Digimon with the lowest DP... So they've got a rookie out. So you get rid of the rookie. Eh, I'm not too concerned about that. I want to get rid of their security stack because that's how you win. So I would really only put two in a deck. If you built that uh, Garudamon, Phoenixmon deck, then 
it would totally work in that. In other decks, I probably would stick to just two. Last pack this video. We got Cherrymon, which we've seen. Muchomon, we have not. Three play costs, zero digit blue costs, 2,000 DP. Active effect, your turn once per turn. When one of your red Digimon attacks its player, draw one card. Straightforward. Um, and I'm glad it's not this Digimon, but any of them. Uh, Lograramon, five play costs, three digit blue costs, 5,000 DP. Digivolves from red or purple, is dual color purple red. Digivolve from level 3 with the SOC trait for a cost of 2. When digivolving, or when attacking, by trashing one card in your hand, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. If a Tamer card with the SOC trait is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, draw one card. It's alright. Nothing crazy good, but definitely going to be used for uh, the deck. Ginryumon. Four play costs, three Digivolution costs, 4,000 DP. Digivolves from green and black, is dual color black green. Digivolve from level three with X antibody slash Digipolice trait for a cost of two. Has a blocker ability on player when Digivolving. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. If a tamer with the Digipolice trait is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, that Digimon can't unsuspend until the end of their turn. All turn, uh, inherit effect. All turns, once per turn. When this Digimon becomes suspended, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers with a play cost less than or equal to this Digimon's play cost. I like that inherited effect. I'm not crazy uh, about the main effect, like... Because the... That means that this has to already have been a rookie, and you had to put uh, one of the Tamers underneath it beforehand... That's all right. Um, I feel there's a lot of other ways to get Digimon to not unsuspend with green. Marimon we've seen. Espamon we've seen. Betamon we've seen. Demi Marimon we haven't seen. Uh, this one, Inherited Effect on Deletion. By trashing one level 5 or higher Digimon card in your hand, draw two cards. I have mixed feeling about that. Like, yeah... It's an option, so if you've drawn a dead hand, you could use it. But usually when you have Digi-Eggs, you want four of those in there. I guess you could put this as like the one outlier, but it's not going to be that consistent. But I don't think you'd want it to be that consistent. That said, it's still a maybe. Lamortmon, 8 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs, 8,000 DP. On player when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then, if they have no unsuspended Digimon, one of their Digimon can't unsuspend until their uh, until the end of their turn. Inherit effect: all turns, once per turn. When one of your uh, when one of your Digimon with the Angoramon in their text deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, trash the top card of their security stack. Oh, I like that one a lot. That's that's pretty cool, especially if you've got multiple of this guy. If you are building uh, that kind of deck. The, it, it would be really cool to have them in there. Other than that, I don't see it. We got another Sunamon. We got a Marvin Jackson. Three play cost. Security, play this card without paying the cost. Start of your main phase by trashing one card with the machine, cyborg, or SOC trade in your hand. Gain one memory. Main mind link with one of your Digimon with the machine, cyborg, or SOC trade. Uh, inherited effect, all turns. While this Digimon has a machine, cyborg, or SOC trade... It gains jamming and blocker. End of all turns, you may play one Marcus or Marvin Jackson from the Sigimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. Alright, and final card we got is Machindramon. Yo, that's pretty cool. 11 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs, 11,000 DP. On play or when attacking, the Digivolve 2, one of your opponent's Digimon. Your turn. This Digimon can only Digivolve into White Digimon. End of opponent's turn. Delete this Digimon. Then you may play one Digimon card with the Dark Master trait other than Machine Dramon from your hand without paying the cost. Inherited Effect Reboot. Okay, so this is... This is the first Dark Master that we get to see. I still don't understand, like, you put it in the breeding area of Sanctus Other Cards? 
Like, it could hang out there and then you could bring it up? Is that legal now? Because I thought only digi eggs could be in the breeding area. That is very fascinating. Um, if that's how it works, that's cool. And I have to imagine that's how it works. Uh, because it is a dark master. And they had to kind of think this through. Like, they wouldn't make one that couldn't and the rest that could. That'd be weird. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. Finally, we got these two cards. Uh, there are six in the set. So we've got roughly a third of a chance of pulling one that we've already gotten. Starting with cost Gamma Mon, not one that we've already got. Five play costs, two Digivolution costs, 6,000 DP. Digivolve uh, two from Gamma Mon. Your turn, this Digimon can't be blocked. No inherited effect. And we got Hero. Okay. Four play costs, start of your turn. If you have two memory or less, set it your memory to three. Your turn, when you attack with a Digimon that has Gamma Mon in its name or is level five or higher, you may suspend this tamer to have one of your Digimon get plus 2,000 DP for the turn. Security, play this card without paying the cost. I like it. I always like those two memory or less. Those are real good ones to me. Like, you can throw them in any deck. If you are casual, just put them in there. Help your memory out. Um, also, something that I didn't point out is that these are both from BT8 and BT9. And the other ones... Uh, are from BT8 and BT10. So yeah, a couple sets ago, so not too viable, but I like to see them whenever they put out uh, cards that are shiny. That's neat. Uh, I wish they, I wish this one wasn't a common. I wish they had chosen rare cards. I don't know. It's kind of like a hard position where it's like, the rares were already shiny, and it's like, let's make some commons shiny. Well, then you're kind of cheaping out on commons. Like, ah, it's a weird kind of, thing but there we go that was uh those packs uh next time we'll be opening up the boxes because i do have those um i wanted to open these out just because it'll make those a little more fluid i won't have that one box video being like all right here's a 40 minute we'll be able to go through those a lot faster so join us next time for the boxes if you haven't checked out the last video we got some awesome pulls in uh those two uh double packs if you enjoyed the video, give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, please do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel. Uh, the algorithm likes it. And as always, until then, I will see you next time.